premiering announcements, program number 4B, take one. And with all that being said, we will even have time to review our regular transmitter news about recent special announcements, the current progress for the third channel in both existing and non-existing stations, and full details about just one brand new social television relay station. Located on the northern center of our state, this station is at Burmy and Shasta, where it will be carrying mountain television along with channel 3. But before we get into all that, over to Warren Wilson. So, Paul, it's good to see you again after two months. Now, we've expected that the bulk of the Channel 3 trade test transmissions occurred yesterday, March 29th. We're hoping that partnership members will be busy over the next four days, helping their viewers and users tune into the new channel. Have there been any recent problems already, Paul? Well, only a few problems. In fact, the, the transmitters were coming in, uh, to schedule and, uh, in fact, uh, we've also been able to improve on the original uh, start date of March 29th because in fact, at one time, it, it looked as if the listings might be incomplete for some reason or actually because of the connection between in, in, individual antennas all around the neighborhoods. If we look at the unit combination between our transmission service and YouTube's school service, is there any possibility on how all four services compare? Very much likely. So they're all at the same power um, and within, from the same antenna, the same system uh, as the other existing two channels. So uh, it really isn't the fact that the channel 3 signal is not getting ready or anything. Uh, it's, uh, it's just that we had a little catching up on, on the trading lists uh, before looking at the new studio podcast feature on the user's pages. More likely that, in fact, there um, may not be that much perfect reception in our corporate townhomes, all because of local streaming feedback patterns and things like this, but um, typically speaking, all the signals will be coming from the same direction. This is this this is such great business to the social trade uh, and future video formats in operation, perhaps in fact without using wire cables like from back then. So what would you suppose for us to do about social television members from the entire Gotcha Life and Gotcha Club Studio communities? Is there a possibility that the J4C channel will start at the same time? Well, uh, unfortunately, there's probably nothing much we can do about the Duchess series for Channel 3 just yet at the moment, but uh, we are still looking forward on airing a starter example as their first program starts soon, uh, during the first week in April and sometime. And also, secondly, to answer your other question, the, the Hollywood transmitters are still to be announced for uh, social train testing before they'll be ready. But actually, in fact, uh, we don't know what will be featured in the similar counterpart unless we ask the community dealers. I see. And I want to know, what are some advantages of the age of co-siting? Any thoughts, Paul? Well, there were five channels allocated, but only four were then in operation. It was suddenly decided uh, that basically all the transmitters would be built at the same spot and use the same antenna tower masks and so on. This has a great advantage for the viewer or for the user and for the membership dealer in which the six that only one antenna is needed. You may, of course, remember back in the old days of UHF cable television before there was post sighting coming in. Uh, it was somewhat quite common to see a whole number of antennas ranged straightly instead of pointing in many different directions, all on the same house or perhaps the same building. And of course, you had the the band one large satellite dish and the band the small band two and band three satellite dishes, all as separate structures and. And from the point of view of the environment in its entirety, this was not that that was not really the good ideal system to use. And are there any disadvantages in cosine? Much very few that I can think of. In fact, uh, it does mean that the whole the coverage, the VHF coverage, is really very similar, and perhaps one loses just a little bit in a nationwide regional distribution in, in some of the trending regional areas. We might possibly have become slightly just as less ideal as you know. Uh, but on the whole trend right now, highly uh, an extremely good system. It worked very well. And 
we think that Channel 3 will be a great success for that reason there, especially for YouTube and Google and so. You see YouTuber, YouTubers or people have got their sets, they've got their devices, they or they've got their smartphones, they've got their antennas, and now all they've got to do is to get their sets, their computers, and their smart devices to it. The new Channel 3 social TV service will be launched early in April, the first brand new social television service for nearly 15 years. Will you be tuning for it? Try tuning a spare button on your set before 9pm, and if you can get this picture sharp and clear on your screen, then you're all set. If you can't, it may be that you're not in range of a Channel 3 transmitter just yet. We're bringing more on as fast as we can. But perhaps all you need is expert partnership advice. Ask your social administrator or community station manager. Channel 3 is on its way. And that's the STV commercial you'll be seeing very soon in the rest of America and Canada, urging the public to get tuned in. There's also a similar promotion in Hollywood and also New Japan for J4C. Over to Transmitter News now, starting with special announcements. In Glen, the relay at Willows is on reduced power today and tomorrow for antenna work, and it's expected to be off the air between about 3 and 4.30 p.m. on both days. And in Calusa, Wilbur Springs is on reduced power until later next month to prevent installation work of some Channel 3 equipment. In Sonoma, Occidental is on reduced power for antenna maintenance, but the work should be finished in a week or so. In Stanislaus, Modesto is due to be off tomorrow afternoon from 5 minutes to 1 until 5 minutes past 2 during a conference interaction. This also affects dependent relays at West Modesto, Sirius, Salida, and Riverbank. Near the west of Monterey, the Sprinkles relay will be off tomorrow until noon. This is for a single period of antenna maintenance. And next Monday, the relay at Tuolumne will be off between 10 and 4.30 for work by the electricity board. In Los Angeles, Norwalk is due off tomorrow between 4 a.m. and 1 p.m. during maintenance on the main supply. Also tomorrow, the relay at Alhambra will be liable to encounter interruptions for transmitter maintenance. This will affect both STV and the third channel. And in Butte, Paradise is scheduled to begin reduced power next Friday, lasting about nine weeks. This is in connection with the third channel, due on in the summer. In Sacramento, Lemon Hill is off today until about 3.35 this afternoon. This is for maintenance on the electricity supply. For the same reason, Escalon in San Joaquin is also scheduled off today until about 5 p.m. And off today until noon, the Bridgeport, Finley, and Gazelle relays, all for wireless antenna maintenance, hopefully with no further interruptions necessary. The interruption at Gazelle also affects Granada and Weed. And the 7th main station at Weaverville begins reduced power tomorrow for antenna maintenance by the YouTube studio. This is expected to last for about 7 weeks, and there will be no transmissions on most mornings. Finally, in Yuba, the relay at Marysville is scheduled off today, tomorrow, and Saturday between dawn and midday. This is for tower mast maintenance. Now over to information on Channel 3 coverage, and as we have already heard moments ago, 18 main stations around the state are on official social trade tests. That's one more than we predicted last month. Mountain View was brought forward by the week of the first release of the official network channel onto the YouTube platform after headquarters establishment, which started yesterday before planning to begin testing. Meanwhile, a look at the latest on Channel 3 for commissioning at existing and non-existing stations. Last week's on the new service at two relays in Los Angeles, Santa Monica on the southern coast, and Universal City within the San Fernando Valley region. Official service is from April 4th. Due to have Channel 3 later this week, Genesee and Pumas. About 3,500 use the station, and the channel will be 50. And in Trinity, Deadwood is now due to have Channel 3 by the end of next week on Channel 63. This is a relay covering something like 95,000 people. And to complete the first quarter of the year, we are hoping to get Calpella and Hartley into social trade tests on a new channel by the beginning of next month. Switching over to new relays now, and in Shasta, the station at Bernie came on a little earlier than expected and is now in service. The relay is designed to serve about nearly over 33,000 people in a larger portion just around the northwest of Bernie, around Big Bend and Baird, and also in Bully Hill. Mountain Television is on Channel 94, with Channel 3 on 90. Group XY antennas will be used by a thousand wireless aerials multipolarized. 
Bernie is now in official service. In conclusion, we leave you as usual with our address if you want to write to us. Networking Information Services, Social Television Authority, YouTube, 1000 Cherry Avenue, San Bruno, California, zip code 94066. You can ring our San Bruno telephone number, that's area code 650-253-0000. If it's convenient, you can email our online mailing address, youtube-sta at hotmail.com, and ask to be put through to networking information here in our mailing list. Please be sure to like or share this video and follow our YouTube channel for more feature updates. Before we go, a reminder now about the latest information and tips about YouTube podcasts are now on Google Help's website on topics page 12751636, followed by other items about the YouTube Help Center, which is still on topics page 9257498. Forum questions and news information will be updated, so please be sure to check out the Help Center topics regularly. Another best part is that we will be building our own online library at our details page on the Internet Archive, a project on preserving the history of our contents, including our very old ones before the STA was first renamed. The library comes with a special collection list of favorites on the website regularly added, and it will be given the title, The STA Archive. Account registration of our library is due by Sunday, April 16th. We'll be back again next Monday morning after that week at the same time on all STV, Channel 3, J4C, and individual user account transmitters. We hope you can join us. But if we can't make it by then, no need to worry. We can still bring you our next program someday later after off schedule. In the meantime, have a good week. From all of us here in San Bruno, this is Minerva Grant, John Howard Swiss, and myself as the founder of the STA, Lenny Maxwell Gates. Signing off. Until next month, goodbye.